big government, plans for higher taxes, an open border, trampling on the liberties that we all cherish. Millions of Americans join me in saying with one voice, enough is enough. The time has come for young Americans to step forward and articulate a positive agenda for the American people. I'm confident that we can win back America, but it's going to take all of us to do it. We need to articulate a, a positive agenda for the American people, build on the foundation of the conservative movement, first poured by President Ronald Reagan. He made it clear that our movement was built on a commitment to a strong national defense, to the principles of limited government, to free market economics and free enterprise, to traditional values and the right to life. But what President Trump added to that agenda is just as important, the belief that border security is national security, that free trade has to be fair trade for American workers, that China represents the greatest threat to the United States, our prosperity and our security, and must be held accountable for years of trade abuses and for not coming clean with the world about COVID-19's origins. And finally, that patriotic education is absolutely essential to the survival of liberty. It's an agenda that's built on the best of the past and what President Trump and I brought to the American people over the last four years. The only thing missing is you. We need young Americans across this country to take that positive agenda in new and in renewed ways to campuses all across the country, to neighbors and to friends. I think the American people see the choice that we face today. It's really a choice between freedom and socialism. It's a choice between a boundless American future and a future of American decline. But with all of your voices engaged around the country, I know we can lay a foundation for victory, for winning back the hearts and minds of the American people. And my only challenge to each and every one of you is use this time in your life to develop the qualities of character that America is going to need in leaders of the future. Study the American founding, learn about our constitution and our declaration and the principles that have really made this country great. You know, I've always believed that the foundation of American greatness uh, is our freedom, uh, our faith in God and our vast natural resources. And by articulating an enthusiastic vision for that, by becoming the kind of leaders that people in your generation will rally around, I know the best days for the greatest nation on earth are yet to come. So thank you, young Americans. Thank you for stepping forward with your voice, with your help, with your leadership, and with God's help. I know the best days for this great nation lie ahead.